So yesterday I made a video about how good goldenrod is for pollinators and insects. Do you guys see the insect activity? It is just bananas. So the bees are loving it. But it's not just the bees. And it's neat to be surrounded by all these insects, but not be bothered by them. They're all busy. They're all busy doing their own thing. You can see uh, last year we just kind of threw milkweed seeds everywhere. Just threw them everywhere. And they're now starting to grow up. I actually do have to come in here and pull some of these uh, dog strangling vines because they're going to seed. But check this out. Oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. And we are coming down here because we are going to check on the hazelnuts because the hazelnuts my hazelnut reminder just went off on my phone and I thought I'd pop back here to see if they're ready for us to harvest you can kind of feel if they're wiggly in there I actually think they're not quite ready but I do want to get them before the squirrels You can see we're going to get a ton of hazelnuts this year. Yeah, not quite ready yet. I guess we'll come back and check in a week. And hope that they're still here. I'll grab some tomatoes for lunch. Hey, just a real quick reminder that we have a second... Uh, YouTube channel called Game Night and it's with Trish and my son Jackson and uh, we just did a top 10 board games video so if you're interested in board games at all or just want to see more of the family see more of the kids and my wife uh, playing board games and having some good quality family time together check that out we've got a playthrough of Everdale coming up and that is a really cool nature based fun game so check that out if you're at all interested. The link will be in the video description below to Game Night, our board game channel. And just a reminder, the $50 West Coast Seeds gift card giveaway is going to be finishing soon to any channel members. If you want to see more information on that contest, check out this video here or the link in the description below. So annual garden update, see the pumpkins are getting massive. Tomatoes, we just harvested a bunch for another batch of soup and we will keep doing that. This volunteer squash is doing fantastic. And we were just checking on the potatoes because some of them are kind of given up a bit. And, whoops, I did this at night. Try to never leave your potatoes exposed because once they're exposed to sunlight, they actually can turn um, poisonous. Um, we've got some potatoes we can take in, uh, but what I'll probably do is just store them here for now. I'll just store them. So yeah, we just kind of pulled one of these up to see what our yield is going to look like. Looks like it's going to actually be pretty good. Then we've got this pile of cuttings that we took from my mom's place. So kind of tidied up her yard and took all the cuttings and uh, we'll do a run of biochar with that we've also got a load of biochar maturing in some horse manure back there and look at this we spread some uh, lambs quarter seed in and around the horse manure because we wanted it to do really well and look at all of this this stuff did so well and it is super nutritious, high protein feed for humans and animals. So we can eat this. It's doing fantastic in the horse manure. And we're actually going to use it. We're going to let it go to seed so we can collect more seed and keep propagating this so we can feed this to our chickens. Hey, girls. Here you go. Oh, sorry about that. Knocked you with it. So we didn't do too much. They'll work on that. 
We just gave them a whole bunch of frozen peaches and tomatoes and duckweed. So they cleared that out in about 10 minutes. Well, that's it. I got to get back inside and get back to work. I'm just on my lunch break right now. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.